Hi, this is Mr. Weston. Today we're doing another Khan Academy tutorial on solutions to two variable equations. This was a special request from the Chopta family. Thank you so much for requesting this video. And if you have your own request on a worksheet or Khan Academy or something else, please leave a comment and I'll get to it as soon as possible. So for this Khan Academy, what we're doing here is we're just testing points for X and Y and we're seeing if it makes a solution. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Which ordered pair is the solution of the equation? This is an equation written in point slope form in case you're wondering. And essentially what we're gonna do here is we're gonna test different points. So here's our X, uh, actually let's make that in red. And then here's our Y over here. So our X values for these points are all the first numbers in the ordered pairs. And our Y values are all the second points. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take turns plugging in some of these points and seeing which are solutions. So let's, let's just go ahead and demonstrate what that looks like. So for the first one, we have four for Y, and then for X, I'm gonna plug in five. Now I'm gonna go ahead and build everything else around it. So let me show what that looks like. So we get four minus four equals seven, and then parentheses five minus six. I already know this is not gonna work, but let me show you why I know that. So on the left side, we get zero. So we know that the right side also has to equal zero. We can see here five minus six is gonna give us negative one. And then negative one times seven is gonna equal negative seven. So that does not make a true statement. Zero is not equal to negative seven. Therefore, A is not a correct answer. Let's try the reverse. So in our uh, choice B, we have five uh, goes in for the Y this time. That's why I was saying reverse. And then actually for X though is six. Okay, so we can see this one and we already know this one is not gonna work. And why is that? Well, because inside the parentheses on the right side, we have six minus six and that's gonna equal zero. But on the left side, it does not equal zero. It's gonna equal one. What happens here? Well, we're gonna get zero on the right side, but that's not gonna be equal to the left side, which equals one. So that's also not true. Choice B is out. So now we need to try, oh, look, C is saying both 5, 4, and 6, 5. Neither one of those is a solution, so we're going to choose neither for this uh, first problem because none of those options work. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we have which ordered pair is a solution. This one's in slope-intercept form. That's when the Y is by itself. And we just have to test these different points. So let's go ahead and put in two, four, X. This time I'm just gonna use uh, one color, just the, uh, green. And we have X and Y. So I'm gonna just put in 11 for uh, Y. And then put in two, four, X. And let's see if this works. So we get 11 equals six plus five. And of course, I hope you guys see that this was my X and this is my Y. I just substituted those values in there. And this is actually true. 11 does in fact equal 11. 11 equals six plus five. So two 11 works. Now it's either gonna be A or C as a result. We know option D is out. So we just need to try option B. I'm gonna put in 13 for Y equals three times three and then plus five. So we get nine plus five, that equals 14, not 13. So this one is not equal Therefore, B and C are out, and it's only option A, because option A was the only one that made a true statement. And if you were to graph these on uh, a coordinate plane, Y equals 3X plus 5 would be a line. And 211 would be the only one of those points that is on the line. So that's what a solution to um, a two-variable equation means, okay? That the point is on the line. Which order pairs the solution? We're going to repeat the process. This is another slope-intercept form. Let's go green again. So we have 3 and 15. So 7 times 3 minus 2. Does that equal 15? It does not. Okay, It's going to be 21 minus 2. And that's 19, so it's not 15. So A and C are both out. Now we're down to B and D. So uh, when there's lots of negatives, be careful. So we have 7 times negative 1. There's our X and then minus two, and then we have negative 10 on the left side. So we have negative 10 equals negative seven minus two. This one also does not work, okay? Because we get negative nine on the right, 
and then we have uh, negative 11, sorry, negative 10 on the left. So this one does not work either, so it's neither. Okay, so we have one left to go after this. Which order pair is the solution? So same thing, one more to go. We're gonna have uh, one seven, so negative two times one. Be careful with negatives, minus five, and then equals seven. Uh, this is not gonna work. We're gonna have negative two minus five. That equals negative seven, not positive seven. So this is negative seven, this is not equal. Okay, that is not equal. Let's move on to the next one. So we have two negative seven. So now we have negative two times two minus five, and then that negative seven on the left. That was our y, that was our x. We get negative four minus five, that's negative nine. It also doesn't work. Boy, there's a lot of neithers here. So this one is also neither. And we're done, that's all there is to it. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, again, you can graph those. You could use a program like Desmos and graph those and you could just see if the points are on the line or not. But probably the simplest way to do it is just plug in your X, plug in your Y. Substitution is that method. And then see if it makes a true statement. It makes it equal. If it's not a true statement, then it's not on the line. That's all there is to that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out more videos like this on my channel. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.